Hello everybody! In this tutorial I'm going to show you the automatic union. This feature is very useful in two cases, when your data definitions contain all identical data names, or when your data definitions contain only some identical data names. Let's see the first option and start. It's easy, you just need two data files containing the same names in all the columns, like these ones. In particular, focus on the column country. You can notice that it contains data about Italy and Sweden. Now, load this file to Selfie. You can drag and drop its data into a widget in order to create a bar chart. Let's suppose you want to count how many employees are there in these two countries. Now, go back to the second file. It contains the same kind of data, but about people employed in Australia, UK and USA. Load this file to self B2. Look, why are there five columns now? Here there are Italy and Sweden from the first data definition and the other three, Australia, UK and USA, they come from the second data definition. This means that the automatic union has unified the identical data names coming from two different data definitions on automatic. And remember, to do that the data names must be identical. But if they aren't, no problem. Click on Manage. Once on Edit Data Definition, select the single column, change the data name, and then refresh the page. Easy! Now there are two identical columns. Remove one of them by clicking on the trash can that appears near your pointer. Did you see how it's easy? Now, Let's see the second possibility. In this option, you work with two or more data definitions, which have in common only some data names. Let's take a look into the original sources. In the first file, we can see that the ID code univocally relates the years of seniority. In the second file, there is the identical column, the ID code but this time it relates the year's salary. We want to unify those highlighted data into just one analysis. Is it possible? Of course, thanks to the action of the automatic union. First of all, let's add both these files with the same process seen before. Remember that in this example we have loaded data from a spreadsheet, but we can create a data definition from other sources too. By the way, let's see the data definition one. Here you can find the ID code and the years of seniority. And in the data definition two, there is the identical ID code, but related to the year salary. First of all, Let's create a table. Now let's add one of the fields ID code. You can choose one you want since they are identical. In the property panel, take off any automatic function applied to the column. Now you can add the years of seniority from the data definition 1 and the year salary from the data definition 2. Look, the relation between the ID code and the other two columns is the same you had in your original data files. Now in this table there are data coming from two different spreadsheets unified into just one widget. If you think about it, now you know two different ways to implement only one useful feature, which is the automatic union. Don't you want to try them by yourself? Now it's your turn. 
And remember that your feedback makes self be even more self-service. So if you have any comments or questions, please contact us.